Hey everyone, it's been a while since I posted a video, but we got a pretty cool project here. Just got to restore this canoe. So you can see, it's been driven up on some rocks. All the uh, epoxy, or the epoxy scratched off. What I want to do is try and eliminate as much of this white as possible. I think the best way to do that is just give her a sand. This one right here, this long one, is really bad. It's getting into the cloth right here. So what we'll do is sand her down and then put a new layer of epoxy on it. So you can see here, we've got this outer coat of epoxy, which is like the clear, the final smoothing coat, and then underneath, there's the glass coat, but it's as if I can keep chipping away. See how it just keeps chipping and chipping and chipping? It's like this outer smooth layer didn't bond properly to the glass layer. It just keeps wanting to chip away, so I'm trying to feather it out as best I can so you know that's kind of why it's important to sand between coats and make sure you get all the dust off when you're actually doing the fiberglassing so here you can see let's see how big this opens up this one's not that bad that one's The more I got thinking about this, the more that this area right here is pretty bad. So all the fiberglass cloth is coming up. So what I'm going to do is, you might not be able to see here, but I'm actually, I'm going to cut this out and replace it. Because I'm doing all this work anyways. I might as well see if I can get this out of here. Oh, there it is. See that? completely delaminated. There we have it. So I just picked out that, there's maybe one or two layers of cloth on there. I picked all that out. The delaminated stuff just comes out pretty easily. I actually got down to bare wood here. So what I'll do is I'll make a small cloth to fit in there. And then I'll put a big one to go over this whole thing just to reinforce it a little bit better. And then we'll put the epoxy on. went up to uh, one, 100 and then a 150, went over it with the palm sander and the random orbital sander. You know, there's some few spots in here, like these, some of these marks are really deep, like I could spend a whole month sanding all the fiberglass down, but it's just really not worth it for this, this type of canoe or this, how old this canoe is. So what I did is, you know, I cut away as much fiberglass as I could, I've got some replacement fiberglass I'm going to put on. And then what we're going to do is just go three layers of epoxy, West Systems, the uh, 207 Special Hardener Clear. And then, uh, and then this will be sealed up nice and perfect, good for another 10, 20 years. So if you watch my paddleboard series, um, we want to get all the dust off the top of the canoe. And that, when you're sanding this fiberglass, it's really, really fine, I should say. Uh, it doesn't blow off easily. Every time I touch it with my hand, I get dust on my hand. So I just got uh, denatured alcohol or methyl, methyl hydrate or something here. Something that evaporates really quickly. And I'm just going to go right down the middle. You can see that line right there. And immediately you can see tons of dust and some hair or something just on the cloth itself. So at the bow and the stern, see where the hole is, where that bare wood is. I've cut two pieces of small cloth. That's going to fill in the spot that I took out. This will stay a little down a little bit better once I get the epoxy on. And then I've cut sheets like this just to go over this front section here where there's a little bit more wear just to give it some strength. And I've done the same thing on the other end. West Systems, refer to the paddleboard videos under... I think it's 
it's epoxy and glassy. The benefit is we're not laying glass, so we're going to use a lot less epoxy. So this will probably get me started. I'm just going to take this paintbrush here. It's a wider paintbrush because it's a lot, a lot of surface area here. I'm just going to delicately get a little bit of epoxy and just sort of wet this down. I just don't want it to blow away, right? Don't be shy here, you got tons of time. Any runs, you can go clean up later. So where the large piece is going, you got to wet the outside. This goes on like paint too, so you'll see if there's any runs. So I've got that wetted out. Take my full piece, rest that on top where I want it to go. Get a little bit more epoxy. Start working that into the glass. It's going to naturally take the position of the canoe, or take the form of the canoe. This is what takes a little bit more epoxy. Work the bubbles out. Now let's start working the remaining epoxy in and around where I just put the patch on. And this will be just like painting, you can do this rather fast. Uh, it's going to want to harden in the actual container a little bit faster than if you spread it out. And that's actually what I think I'm going to do right here, is I'll just spread this a little. Well, today is tomorrow. You can see how nice this is. Uh, this is just after one coat, so it turned out pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, you can, if you look at it on the side, probably right there, you can see those runs? I'm just going to sand those down before we do the next coat. So back to the sander. Just got to sand it down to 150, put the final coat of epoxy on there, I'll just wipe it down, clean all the dust off it, throw the epoxy on, we're good to go. Another beautiful day outside, just looking at the finished canoe. Uh, two extra layers of epoxy on here. You know, a couple of the deep spots here we couldn't exactly buff out, but hey, it's protected now. Hard as a fingernail on top there. I stayed up uh, a little bit later last night making sure there was no runs. You can see here at the bow, there's where I put in that filler piece. Looks a lot better than looking at that white. I'm pretty happy with the results. No varnish going on this because the person using it uh, it's going to be inside for most of the time and only out when when it's being used so you know I'm not too concerned about UV rays but thanks sir thanks for watching hopefully uh, you learned a lot here and uh, we'll see you in the next video